All right. So, um, I'm making this video because when I was online looking for uh, video reviews of DiMarzio Tone Zone and um, 36th Anniversary PAF pickups, I was not able to find um, any, you know, good videos, so I figured why not just make one myself once I got them. So, make myself my own uh, little lab rat, I guess. So, uh, I have a ESP LTD uh, H330 NTFM, that's no tremolo, flame maple top, beautiful purple color there, uh, made in Indonesia. Uh, really great guitar, it's a bolt-on. Um, it's a 25 and a half uh, scale rosewood fingerboard, um, mahogany body with a maple neck. Um, it came with uh, the ESP designed actives in it, but um, I really didn't like the sound of those, so I took them out. I uh, had to get all new pots to, had to change to um, 500k pots from the 25k. Uh, so I'm just going to try out these, um, just all the possibilities here with these two. Um, I got the Tone Zone DiMarzio in the bridge and the um, the 36th anniversary DiMarzio uh, PAF in the neck. Um, they're both uh, coil split. Had that done custom myself. I got two volume controls. Uh, had those installed. So um, let's go ahead and hear how these sound. I'm going to start out with some distortion uh, with the Tone Zone. Um, uh, not split or tapped. <laughs> That's some uh, pretty heavy distortion there. Um, I'm using a uh, Axe FX2 um, preamp uh, FX processor. Um, just some custom um, settings I have on here. Um, so let's hear what the distortion sounds like uh, tapped in just the uh, tone zone here in the bridge. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot more of a thinner sound, obviously, because it switched to single coil. And forgive me if I keep saying tapped or split. I get them really easily confused. They're obviously different, but I really don't care to take the time to remember which is which. Uh, but anyways, um, tapped um, or split or whatever, um, these are still sound pretty pretty heavy with the right amount of distortion. Um, so, but I th but with this uh, tone zone is one of Demarzio's higher output sort of pickups. So. Um, so yeah, I just listen to it one more time, tapped. All right, um, let's move into the middle position. Um, both um, regular humbuckers. Straps pissing me off, okay. Um, all right, let's hear it. split uh, the tone zone uh, so we have the tone zone uh, tap split whatever and then we have the uh, PAF um, 
just uh, in regular full humbucker mode. <laughs> I'm going to split uh, both of them, tap both of them, whatever, both of them are tapped here. Uh. Alright, now we're just going to have... Uh, this one full humbucker, and this one will have the um, PAF tapped in the you know the tone zone full humbucker. All right, um, now we're going to go um, just the PAF, uh, full humbucker. Um, Marzio's website has this one sort of defined as... Um, one of the lower output, but it's still um, pretty snappy and pretty crisp for a for a bridge pickup. I think um, I really do like it a lot, and we'll get to some of the clean tones later, where this is where the, the, this um, this pickup here really shines. So um, let's hear this one tapped. So uh, I'm going to switch to a, um, a different preset here. Hang on, let me... Let's get to a more of a cleaner. Let's see. Yeah, this ought to work. All right. This is um, this is just the uh, tone zone um, humbucker, uh, un not tapped. Pretty pretty warm tone, um, still kind of driven um, as far as you know uh, a clean setting goes. Uh, it's a pretty hot um, pickup, so I'm gonna tap this one. Let's move into the middle position, both full humbucker. Alright, let's 
tapped the um, bridge pickup, its own zone here. So the, this will be tapped and this will be a humbucker. pickups tapped in the middle position. It doesn't really sound that much different. You're all switch back and forth so you can kind of uh Alright. And then now we'll have just this one tapped. to uh, just the PAF um, in humbucker mode. Tap it right here. This one, So uh, lastly, we'll do a um, sort of a uh, less uh, intense um, distortion than before, so you can kind of get a feel, and I'll clean up the pickups so you can kind of hear the um, less dirty side of them while it's still in a distortion setting. clean up the um, bridge pickup so see what kind of sounds we can get out of it. There we go. Now here we have the um, tone zone uh, kind of cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm going to tap it, see what it sounds like, single coil and cleaned up. Um, 
to the uh, PAF here uh, with some distortion. that one up oh and those for you who don't know what cleaning up is um, I'm sure the vast majority of you do know what that means but um, it's just raising the volume just a little bit above um, completely down um, to get sort of a cleaner sound out of it hence the name cleaning up obviously <laughs> Oh, just in case anyone's wondering, I'm using um, tens on here. They're Elixir polywebs coated strings. Um, a lot of people don't really like Elixirs um, because they're you know purists and they feel like it's you know it's not the way it was always done, or they just you know they just think it might be uh, kind of a wimpy way. But I love them. I love the way they sound. I love how long they last, uh, and I love the way they feel. And um, yeah, that's why I that's why I use personally use them, and I think they're great. Use them on electric and acoustic. All right, let's go ahead and clean up this um, this one while it's tapped. That should about do it. I'm probably forgetting something. Oh yeah, let's try um, cleaned up in the middle. See how well we can do that. There we go. These are both um, humbuckered, um, not tapped, so um, cleaned up in the middle. And now let's tap both of them. about do it um again again uh, these are the um tone zone uh demarzio bridge pickup covered and the um demarzio paf uh, 36th anniversary um bridge pickup i really do uh enjoy these a lot um it's uh they're, they're really versatile uh, which i really like um i really like actives uh but uh, they, they don't really provide you the kind of versatility that you like to have. Um, uh, sometimes some people, you know, a lot of people will argue that they do, but um, in my personal opinion, I think these offer a lot more versatility, although uh, actives do serve a great purpose in uh, metal. Um, so, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, hopefully this helped uh, you answer any questions. If you have any more questions, 
just leave in the comments section and uh, you know I don't have anything better to do with my life <laughs> so I'll, just, I'll be able to get back to you pretty quickly if you do have questions so uh, thanks for watching um, and that's it